Hi, my name is Jim Elfland and I'm the owner of Key Renter Premier Property Management. Today I want to talk with you a little bit about preparing that home to be a rental. A uh, number of homes that we work with are uh, first-time investors, meaning they have a house that they've purchased, they don't want to sell it, they want to transition on to a rental property, or uh, an accidental landlord who's um, inherited a property or adopted the property through marriage. And uh, it's a home that they've lived in, but uh, they know they don't want to sell it. So there's a number of things that you have to consider before you transition that into a rental property. So uh, let me back up for a, li a little bit. Because you've lived in the house uh, for a period of time, whether it be a year, five years, 10 years, you really get to know the nuance of the house. You know, the faucet doesn't turn off unless you turn it a certain way. Uh, there's a leak in the backyard that you just put a bucket under and then you empty out every now and then. Uh, planters, you do a beautiful job of landscaping in the front. You have some planters up. However, they're not on a, uh, a sprinkler system or a drip system, so you need to go out there and water them on your own. Uh, the door will only lock if you push it in, any sort, in, a, in a certain way. So I'm sure you can think of other little things around your house that you just deal with uh, you move on, it's not a big deal. Now, when you move a renter in there, you have to really put fresh eyes on, there, on your house. So think of it as a hotel room. When you go to a hotel, you expect that the faucet works, the shower works, the doors lock in an efficient manner, the windows open, the windows close, they lock. Same goes for a rental property. When somebody comes in there, they expect things to work. They don't have to, they don't wanna have to work hard uh, and do all the small things that you did to make that house comfortable. So the first thing you want to do before you transition to a rental property is put together a list of all those small little maintenance uh, items that you've been meaning to get to over the years. There's a perfect opportunity to take care of them. Think of it as an investment in your house, making that house worth something. So getting that list together, getting the right resources to get all those small little things fixed to make that home comfortable for the next person that's going to live there. Secondly, think about the last time that the home has been painted inside. Uh, all those nail hose that you've been putting up, uh, you got to get those fixed and patched up. If you don't have that paint to match, think about painting the room and just getting a fresh coat of paint, fresh smell, smell uh, making the place look good. Same goes for the cleaning. You want a very thorough cleaning, everything from the baseboards, cabinets, uh, appliances really making that place look nice because if the renters see that you have taken care of the property and that you care about the property they in turn will care about the property as well so those are just some tips uh, today about getting that uh, home that you own prepared to be a rental property these are a number of things that uh, we can help do through our resources and we can help you guide you through the project and also uh, provide resources to take care of a lot of these different issues that you may have and take and to take care of that honeydew list that you have put together uh, b before you start renting out your home. Again, my name is Jim Elflin and I'm with Key Renter Premier Property Management. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.